We have someone just control the top of your head, not let it just like posture up. So first thing I, I, I want to be careful is like, I don't want to let this hand free just in case the other person just start pushing my hand inside, you know what I mean? And now I'm going to be just stuck inside a turn. I wish I could have just posture up over here, get my hands together and just get out. But sometimes it's just like a, your hand is just under the other person's back. And because it's so close, I cannot even do this, you know what I mean? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kinda pretend I'm gonna put my arm inside of the trunk. And then he's gonna try it. just let it go, right? Come back. So when I start trying to push his arm in, he's gonna start release to go to the trunk. So I'm on this position, I'm gonna, he, I'm gonna start pushing his elbow, and then I'm gonna just stop his, his, his leg at the same time. So this arm over here, I'm gonna start to pull, when I feel his leg start to open up, I'm just gonna stop his arm. His leg, actually. You have to be careful because if you don't do right, if you if you cross a little bit, slow, slow. If you cross a little bit, now if his leg lock, now he's still gonna be inside the trunk. So you have to make sure you find like a little. You have to make sure like you find like a, a strong point over here. If I put my wrist, it's not gonna be strong. So I have to kind of like find like almost the line of my elbow. Then like it's gonna be like. Line up with my shoulder, so even if you push on me, my shoulder is not gonna move back. But if I do this, I have no like a, uh, angle to stop. It's almost like a frame. So if you do this, probably it's gonna just you have to kind of find like this line over here, like line from the shoulder. So when he try close, I gotta just find this. So I'm still stuck over there. You guys should see like how he's pulling the head over there. My my arm is still stuck. I'm gonna be looking to pull the elbow. So once I'm able to kind of like get my elbow inside and then stop his leg, now his legs probably not gonna be like a full connect or even close at all. So what I'm gonna do is like, a, my bottom hand on the other side is gonna just like a turn up, like this, palm up. Cause I wanna pull my elbow out. So from this position right now, I was already like able to push. I'm gonna start to stand up and I'm gonna just start like shake, shake him up. But I don't want to pull my arm straight, so that's why I turn my palm up like that. And it's not this way. I have to kind of like a turn my, my tongue down, actually. You know what I mean? Almost like when we get out of a omoplata. When you pull omoplata position, if I do this, he's going to just extend more my arm to make sure like your tongue stay down. And just shake it up. So one more time, please. So I got this. My arm is stuck over there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just like turn turn my, my thumb down. So I start to get my elbow inside. Start to get my elbow, stop like this. Keep your head down to help you kind of get out, out of the position. And then just turn your thumb down. Turn, turn your thumb down. So you start to stand up. Just shake them. After you get out, you can start walking your pass or even like you just step back to so just think what you're gonna do. Let's go try guys. All right, it's been, it's been a long time we don't walk on that, but everybody most, most try fight through. I see some people get a little bit stuck over there. Most of the time, that's what's gonna happen with like a good move, a tight move. You have to really kind of like, a, I'm not fighting just use the string, I'm fighting kind of like just like, just shake him off of your shoulder, of your head, you just kind of, you gotta take that out, you know what I mean? So, people was asking like, I, I always try to take my head first and then I'm after him. That's what, it's just like the sequence, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I put my head, put my, put my elbow, put my wrist, put my hand, you know what I mean? So just kind of try to hold that, move, move it away from the position. But there is a situations that maybe it's gonna happen the same. He's gonna try to put the leg uh, over, over. I'm gonna lock, I lock his arm. But then maybe the other person gonna be like, uh, maybe too heavy to, to take him out of the ground. Maybe it's gonna be like too dry to kind of like slip off of the position. That's gonna be the time that I'm gonna be uh, emphasize a little bit more on this on this leg over here. Kind of try try open his leg a little bit more apart. You know, just try kind of like open with my elbow, with my shoulder, just a little bit. Just enough to me try keep your head down the whole time. Cause you don't want to he goes to like a, a go go plateau or something, right? So don't forget about that. But I, I wanna just be able to I just wanna be able to talk to you guys. So keep your head down the whole time. 
I'm gonna kind of like spread out his knees a little bit more. Just enough, just enough to make kind of like get my knee inside. Now I'm gonna be looking for, if the person is a big guy, probably you're gonna be able to get one knee and get the other knee inside at the same time because it just like has a long leg, has a lot of room. If the person is not a big guy, you're gonna get one leg and just to start to walk your way to like a half guard. I got the half guard, you look for head control, and then we walk to three, the other leg after this. But we must do one thing at a time. So I'm gonna be looking to just like slip off of the position, but sometimes maybe it's gonna be too tight, maybe it's gonna be too heavy, maybe it's gonna be just dry, you're not gonna be able to slip it off at all. I feel like I use so much less energy when you just like slip off of the position instead of do this. But if you're not able to slip off, you have to kind of like fight through the position. So one more time. I'm stuck over here. My hand is still in the same position. I'm looking for to just pull it out. I try to get this up inside. I still feel tight, so let's just try open up a little bit more your shoulder. Knee goes inside. If I have enough room, the other knee comes together. Both knees go through and then you go straight to the guard pass. If I don't have enough room, one knee, take this leg out and just fall straight to that half guard. Keep your head down, move your hip away from him. Don't put your, weight, your hip on top of him. Bring your knee that, you wanna, that, that is outside, the closest spot to your elbow. And then have enough room to push. Sometimes people get stuck over here, guys. So remember to try, if you want room for this knee, move his head away. So you're gonna have a lot of room over here. And he comes out, just get it up fast. Let's go try, guys.